Hello everyone, today I'm going to present to you about the extraction of protein. So, what is protein from soybean? So, so basically, um, soybean is a legume that have uh, that contains all of the essential amino acid necessary for human nutrition and have been grown and harvested for thousands of years. As we know, our ancestors really love soybean. They have made a lot of um, food from soy soybean, such as tempeh, tofu, and um, soy protein has been uh, shown to support health needs and also it is a source of cholesterol-free and lactose-free protein. Now we're going to look into the extraction process. Um, before that, uh, I want to inform you that there are two types of soy protein, which is the isolation and also the concentrate soy protein. Okay. Now for the soy protein isolation extraction, the first process is um, soy protein will undergo a precipitation process, which the pH is um, in range about 4.5. Okay, next one, um, the insoluble residue, which mostly is carbohydrate, is removed by um, centrifugation process. And then uh, the precipitated protein is, will, uh, is separated by mechanical decanting. Uh, and next, the soy protein will be washed and neutralized to pH about 6.8. And lastly, it will be spray dried. Concentrate. Um, is produced by extracting soluble carbohydrate from defected soy flour or flakes using alcohol, acid or hot water. The resulting um, of SPC contains at least 65% protein and the soluble sugar is decreases. Okay, so how to consume the protein so for the soy protein concentrate it is usually used in baked food breakfast cereal some meat which it will help to increase the nutritional value and also in pet food so for soy protein isolate uh, it will improve the texture of meat product increase the protein content and enhance the moisture retention and also act as an emulsifier so, and last one is the importance and benefit of soybean protein. The first one is soy food contributes six point five percent to um, twelve point eight percent of total dairy protein intake, and it is a good protein substitute for vegetarians because, as we know, vegetarians um did not eat meat, so they need a good substitute for their protein sources. And then soy food are high in polyunsaturated fat, which it will help to reduce the blood cholesterol level and also risk of coronary heart disease. And then the plant protein intake was inversely related to hip fracture risk, which means when uh, someone took a uh, higher plant protein, the hip fracture risk will be lower than those who eat animal protein. Okay, so um, this is the references. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you very much.